g'day um, I hope everyone's safe and well out there um, wherever you may be in this crazy world um, remember how my last uh, meteor video um, Oh yeah, I'm not going to say my opinion. My opinion is all over my channel. So um, anyway, uh, please go back and browse. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, anyway, um, sorry, it's just uh, things are a struggle these days. And um, it's just, it's, it's too much uh, to go back over a year's worth of... Um, research uh, and obsession with the sky and blue beam and the deception um, so it's it's all there it's all there on this channel but anyway continuing uh, remember how I said uh, three days ago on the video that I put up about the uh, meteor quote unquote scene in the Northern Territory uh, I said at the end of that video, um, maybe we should keep an eye on the Northern Territory. And then I backpedaled and said, actually, maybe because they want us to focus there, uh, we should start watching in the opposite direction, which is kind of where I am and kind of where this happened. Hang on, I have to refresh. So, pretty much three days ago, I called it. I called it. <laughs> um, hang on, I might I have to... Sorry, not that good at the OBS. Okay, let's do this. Just imagine the panic. Just imagine the fear seeing this at 11.15 last night. Out of nowhere, this amazing flash of light. This big orange fireball coming down with a beautiful green tail and couldn't believe what I just saw. What the f My sister said maybe it's the end of the world. In Endeavour Hills, Nathalia was watching a scary movie on her big TV screen when she saw this on her small screen, hooked up to an outside security camera. It's just exciting that we captured it. I never thought I'd see anything like that in my lifetime. Police and fire brigades across two states received dozens of emergency calls. Some thought it was a plane crash, others a UFO. Normally we don't get to see these things. Perry says the meteor would have been tiny. A little bit of space rock, perhaps about the size of a walnut or a little bit larger. Exploding about 90 kilometres up. Burnt up in the Earth's atmosphere, totally being annihilated in that process with a flash at the end. It was seen right across Western Victoria. This was from a vehicle near Ararat, this further south in Hamilton. Also throughout South Australia in Mount Gambier, there were reports of windows shaking. There was nothing left of this particular meteor, so we can all rest easy. Okay. <laughs> out of my clothes. How do I get out of here? All right. Okay, so we will watch. Human, we harvest salmon. The other one. Come on, Ninja. Sorry, just a cat. Um, yeah, anyway, my opinion. Um, we're going to see more of this, um, more of the Sky Show. Uh, I think it's all 
manufactured. None of these are real. Um, they've been telling us uh, with all their announcements of um, preparation for uh, uh, an event of an asteroid hitting um, um, Japan, uh, talking about um, a future meteor shower show uh, for some sporting event, I think. I heard that last year. Um, yeah, uh, putting, um, I'll just show you this actually, putting, where is it, where is it, where is it, sorry if you can hear my um, mouse clicking, I don't have much space on the, t on the table, the microphone's right next to it, I apologise, uh, putting this in the sky, um, these are the same colours uh, that um, the Northern Territory Meteor was. It was that bright blue and it had a purple hue around it. Um, people commented saying it looked like purple rain around it. Um, the one that I put up the other day. Same colours. And uh, this was an experiment putting chemicals into an aurora. Um, yeah. Uh, and one more thing while I'm here. This is um, Wi-Fi signal in my sky filmed from my backyard. Uh, the triangle, the little triangle of dots, you can clearly see there are signals coming from those dots, little, little Wi-Fi signals coming from those dots. Um, so yeah, triangulating the signal. Anyway, we'll go back to, I want to let you watch for a little bit. See that I can't point with my pointer, uh, cause I'm not on desktop at the moment. Um, but you can see the little wings and they've, they've got movement. Um, they're little Wi-Fi signals. Anyway, um, I've shown this over and over and over. I'm just looking for something. Uh, that's what started the Paradise um, bushfires, directed energy, Wi-Fi signal. Um, and here's another purpose for it, Wi-Fi signal. Uh, the points of light are in the same position, it's just being used for something else. This was uh, the what they called the SpaceX launch. Uh, the signal in there, the two points of light are exactly the same as that. Um, anyway, I'm veering off topic. Now we'll go to the Adelaide one. Same uh, quote unquote meteor. Okay, now I did notice something. Um, the expert that was speaking at the end of the uh, Melbourne one, um, he did say that it was the size of a walnut um, and it disintegrated in the atmosphere before anything, so nothing hit the ground, before anything hit the ground. And I noticed here, the biggest event we've seen, meteor landed in ocean, 400 kilometers off Adelaide. So I'm going to have a look at that. And there we go, that's the same footage. That's the same picture, that's the same footage. Okay, so there's a uh, inconsistency there. Okay. Okay. Um, this is me here. I'm sitting here. 
the other night, um, the first meteor was seen here. The other night, I sat here and I said, maybe we should look in the opposite direction, meaning down here. Uh, and <laughs> look what happened. <laughs> okay, inconsistencies. Melbourne is here. Adelaide is here. The Melbourne guy said that the meteor was um, probably the size of a walnut and disintegrated into the atmosphere. Nothing hit the ground. Adelaide is saying that um, it was the size of a car and it landed in the ocean. So there's your inconsistencies there. Um, I will show you. Does it say it on here? Where did I read it? There we go. He said he believed it would have been the size of a small car and objects of this size would hit the atmosphere about three to six times a year around the world. Okay. Um, anyway, so that was what I wanted to show you. Uh, Northern Territory the other night and now uh, closer to me. Um, I had a very hazy sky um, last night. Uh, I couldn't see anything, um, couldn't see the stars or anything, but if it was close enough to me, I would have seen the flash for sure. Um, but yeah, I, I was, I'm a little bit too far north. That was right down at the bottom edge of the country. Um, so yeah, I, I didn't see anything. Um, still waiting, still waiting to be able to film uh, one of these things so that I can analyze it but anyway <laughs> um okay so uh be safe out there everyone um it's getting crazy er uh, crazy uh we're getting the um the sky show and uh you guys in the u.s are getting the the weather warfare by the looks of it um yeah, they, they swap, actually, actually. Um, during our summer, last summer, um, we were getting the weather warfare and you guys were getting the sky show with all the blue beam stuff, um, the transformer attacks and the, yeah, the blue flashy sky everywhere. Um, so, yeah, they've swapped. Wow, just noticed that. Okay, anyway, prayers all. Um, I hope you're all safe and well. And uh, I'll see you next time. <laughs> next time there's a meteor. Um, anyway, uh, see yous.